In this video we're going to take a look at the application called Bulk Extractor found on Backtrack 5. If you go to the Applications Backtrack menu, go to Forensics, and we're going to go to Forensics Analysis Tools, we'll find Bulk Extractor here. And when we open this application, I'm going to scroll to the top here of the terminal just to see the usage of it. Um, basically the usage is going to be typing in the Bulk Extractor command, any options that we have, and as well as the image file. Now I'll notice that we do have to have these required parameters. We need to have an output folder or an output directory uh, that we need to label that's going to go ahead and it's going to extract all the information from our image and store it in um, in a readable format for us in this output directory. So I'll need that as well as the actual image file itself that we're going to use. And now everything else here is optional as far as different things. If you scroll through some of these options you may see something that you want. Um, this one here might be a good option, the word list, creating a word list which pulls out just all the words it found out of a hard drive or out of an image that you can use for something like a uh, password cracking software to create a dictionary for you. So that's going to be um, the, the use of this application and I'm going to warn you it's going to take quite a long time to run this. Um, in fact it may take about 10 hours or so to run this application so prepare for a lot of time allocating a lot of time for this. And So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and choose this. Before I actually run the command I'm going to do an fdisk dash L to see the hard drives that I have and we're going to use this partition right here this SDA1 partition so I'm going to go ahead and use the command now so I'll type in bulk extractor I'm going to go ahead and use the dash O for my output directory and I'm going to go ahead for my output directory I'm going to use the tilde for my um, root or home folder forward slash desktop and uh, I'm going to call this one output and this is going to go ahead and create this output folder here on my desktop for me I'm going to go ahead and hit space now I need to type in the destination or, or the file that I'm going to use my image file and this is going to be the forward slash dev forward slash sda and I'm going to use that first partition just partition one I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and you're going to see that it's going through now the process and it's going to go through and I'm just going to warn you it's going to take quite a long time. You'll see I've got 0.8% at the moment or 0.08% at the moment. Uh, allocate maybe 10, maybe even longer, a few more hours than that. Um, unless you've got a decent processor running, you may be able to get it in a little less time. It depends on the size of the hard drive as well. So allocate some, quite a, quite a bit of time. And I'm going to go ahead and let this run. We'll come back when it's finished. And when the application is finished, you'll see this folder output. We're going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to see a list of all of the files basically that were created in this application. Now there's quite a few different files here and it's important to point out a few of these. The first one is the alerts text and that's going to be just if there was any processing errors you might find some information in there. The second one we're going to deal with the CCN which is going to be for our credit card number. And so if there were any numbers or set of numbers that were similar to a credit card you probably will find these listed here in the program. So if on the hard drive or the partition they found anything. Next one we're going to look at here is the domain text and I'm going to go ahead and just double click on this one here to open this up. It's a list of the domains that were found within the hard drive itself and so you'll see on the left hand side and most of these files are like are in this format where if on the left hand side this is the data offset basically for um, the location of the bytes offset for the location of the beginning of the image that we, we pulled off and so you'll see that it continually grows if you were to try to find this uh, using a hex editor or so forth this is basically the offset of bytes uh, from the beginning of that image. Uh, the next column over here of course is where it's going to be basically the, some of the domains that were pulled out and so um, you can go through a list find several of the domains that you'll find within the hard drive uh, stored still left on the hard drive and so this is a great file to find some of that information. We'll go ahead and close that now. Let's go ahead and look. We've got the emails. I'm going to go ahead and open up the email. And as you would suspect, it's going to pull up a list of all the email addresses that were found within the hard drive as well. So I'll go ahead and close that now. The ether file is going to pull off all the MAC addresses that were found within the, the image itself. Now if we move over here to the IP text, it's going to pull off basically all the IP addresses found. Um, we go through a couple of the different ones that we've got here. You can see that we've got telephone lists, we've got URL lists, zip file lists, and so forth. And so uh, this is going to pull out quite a bit of information uh, through the actual image itself. Now the report, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. This is going to be great. 
uh, it will give us um, some timestamps and so forth of when the program was ran, which is great for uh, recording some of your digital evidence or processing your digital evidence. So we're going to go ahead and close this now. And that concludes the video on using Bulk Extractor within Backtrack 5.